everybody, welcome back to another Blender Made Easy tutorial. Today we are going to be making a companion cube. You've probably heard of this before. It's an item in a video game called Portal, and it's super popular. Uh, I play it myself, and it's, it's a ton of fun. So we're going to create that item, and it's just like a cube, and, except a little bit more. There's like some things in the corners, and there's a heart in the middle. You'll, you'll see. We'll just follow along, and we'll get started. So we're going to be using a background image and that's how we're gonna model it. So press N and click background image and add the image. And I'll put a link in the description to where you can find this image. All right, click the companion cube and open that image up just like that. So now if we go into the front view and press five, you can see that background image right there. Next, we're gonna scale this down because it's really big. Scale the image down by uh, just moving your mouse right in this menu and scale it to about there, that's fine. Then go into click Z and that goes into wireframe. And also we can close this tab, so press N to close that. Then scale this up right about there. Yeah, and press S to scale. That's looking pretty good. Just line it up to where this gray area is. That's what we want to do. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just, just close enough. There we go, so there's our first little cube, but now we have to do a lot more. We're going to be creating these little corner pieces next, so go into the top corner, put your cursor right there, and press Shift A, and add in a cube. And scale it down by pressing S, G to move it around, scale it, move, line it up right about there, down a little bit, move to the side, just line it up pretty good, then press Control 3 and then we're gonna line it up on this side too. So bring it right there, perfect. Next, we're gonna delete this vertice down here. So press, uh, go into wireframe and press X, delete. And also, if I'm going too fast, you can look down here and see my screencast keys and you can sh uh, see what I'm doing. There we go. Okay, cool. So if you can look right here, you see this rounded off part. That's what we're gonna be creating next. So we're going to have to go control R, place the loop cut there, and slide it along so it's right in line with this little corner. Okay? Then now the same for this side. Control R, place it right there. Two more times, one right there and one right there. Now we're going to line it up. And first these vertices are going to get in the way, so if you right click on them and press G, you can just move them out of the way. And it doesn't have to look nice in the wireframe because it, we're not putting a texture on it or anything like that. So there we go. Place it there. Place it there. And then drag this one and place it there. Bring this one up maybe. And for some reason, I don't know what this is, but it does this weird thing. So what I found out, if you just press X, delete that vertice, then extrude this one out by pressing E, uh, wait, extrude out right there, place it in the middle, then right click on this face, and or on that vertice, sorry, and press F, and that will create an edge. Then we just gotta go like this, press F, boom, 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 press F. And there we go, and that will fix your little problem. And I just wanna do a little bit more work on this, hold on, it's kind of weird looking, um, it, it's fine, whatever. <laughs> All right, go into the front view, and now we have to do the same thing on this side. So control R, place a loop cut there, and then control R, place a loop cut there. And these ones are already here because we did it on the upper one, so it just went down. Okay, so now right click on this, drag it out of the way. Right click on this one, drag it out of the way. This one, drag it, and this one, drag it out of the way. You can move this one into place right there, move this one into place right there, this one into place oh, right there. And see, now it's doing that weird thing again, so we're going to have to delete this vertice, grab this one, extrude it out, right click, right click, press F, then boom, 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 F, boom, oh, boom, boom, F. And that will line it up. And then maybe just this one, line it up right there. There we go. Now we got that parted off, rounded, then we have that part rounded off. So now one more. So control 3 and Z. 
Actually, we should probably move this down just a tad, just a little bit. Right there. Okay. Go into uh, tab to go into edit mode. Now do the same thing one more time. Right click here, move it out of the way. Here, move it, move it out of the way. This one, and then right click on this one, move it into place. Right there, and right there. And it looks like this one is good, so we're not going to have to do it. Okay, cool. And then actually, we have to move this one down just a little bit so it'll line it up. There we go. We got our rounded off edges. That's looking pretty cool. But next, we're going to have to extrude it in so there's not just like an empty space right there. Okay? So go into edit mode and holding alt, right click on the edge and it should select the whole thing just like that. Then go into top view, press Z, and then click extrude. And let's just like place it right inside here. How does that look? Maybe down. Look at that, that's looking pretty good. And we just moved it just a tiny bit. Uh, this should be lined up with the edge actually. Right here and down, right there. There we go. Do the same thing over here. Um, move it this, no, wait, 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 wait. Move it on the X, right there, line it up on the edge. And then one more time right here. You don't have to do this, it's just a small detail, but it's cool. All right, right there. Okay, this is looking good, but um, as you can see, it's now too big. So we're gonna have to scale this down and move it right about there, scale it up maybe. Scale along the Z just a tad, and just try to line it up. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just try your best. And place it there. Scale Z, bring it down. This right about there is looking pretty good. And like that. Okay, let's look at the top. How's that coming? Now we're gonna have to move this again. Bring it down and across. Then go into top view. How's it looking up here? Uh, it's not very good. Let's grab this, 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 and move it into place. Scale it up right there. Good, good, good. And now we have to go down. Nice. Okay, now the next one right here. Go into Z. There's a cool trick that you can do. If you press C, you'll have this selection circle thing, and you can just hold left click and it'll select all of that. Super easy. Place it there. Scale it up. Place it there. Good, good, good. Now this one is weird, so bring this down and across okay there we go it's looking pretty good you know what I think I want to scale this all these faces right here just a little bit down so press C and select all of them press C select them all right here and scale them uh, do we oh man okay er, let's see how do I want to do this Maybe if we change this to individual origins? No. Um, 3D cursor. No. <laughs> Boundary box. Hmm. You know what we could do is just bring this whole thing out just a little bit and then scale it in. Like that. Yeah, there, there we go. That's looking pretty good. Um, going to top view. Fix these little errors like this. Um, this one's sticking out. Oh, there we go. Sticking out too far. And just just go around tweaking it if there's any problems. Like right here, we've got a problem. Um, bring this in right about there. And then maybe oh, and down to line it up. And this one, this one can come down just a tad. Yeah, there we go. That's looking pretty good. Now, uh, what does it look like in smooth shading and an edge split modifier? Make these edges sharp right here by alt right clicking, then control E, mark sharp, and look at that. Pretty cool. All right, that that's looking fine. It's it's good. Next, we're going to be adding some modifiers. This is where it gets fun and super easy. So select the main cube, like this main big one, and then press shift, 
Shift S, yeah, and cursor to selected. Then right click on this guy and then click Control Shift Alt C and then origin to 3D cursor. And that will put the origin so it will rotate right there. And that's what we want. Next, we're going to be adding a modifier. You can probably guess where I'm going with, right? Mirror modifier right there. And that will put it, boom, just like that. So easy. Actually, what is going on here? Huh? Is that? Maybe... Um, whatever, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, I have to stop worrying about it. Then go X, Y, and Z, and look at that! So easy, it just placed it all around. Now we're going to be creating this little part. This is pretty easy too. All you have to do is, uh, let's find the center real quick by hitting Control R, going to loop cut there, grabbing this guy, Shift S, cursor to selected, and that will just put your cursor right at the center. Then press Shift A and add in what do we want to add? Let's do a cube again. Scale that down. Bring it down. Scale down. Right about there. Scale Z. Bring it up. Uh, scale along the X. So it's right about there. Next, go into this view. And just bring it in so it's lined up with this thing right here. There we go. Go into wireframe. Delete these two right there. Cool, cool. Now, Control R, loop cut there, and Control R, loop cut there, and then one more right in the middle. Then bring this one up, this one up too, and this one up right there. So now we got this little like curve. Actually, I want to do another loop cut. Loop cut there, loop cut there, just to smooth it out just a little bit. Maybe bring this one up. Just line it up. There we go. That's looking good. And do, 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 scale that down just a tad, bring it up just a tad, and bring it out just a tad. Select the loops, boom, 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 and extrude, scale, and then go into side view and bring them in. Like that. There we go. So easy. So easy. Down. Just get it right inside so you can't see the edge. And can you guess what we're going to be doing next? Probably. Shift A, boom, and then Control Alt C, origin to 3D cursor, and add in a mirror. Um, wait a second. Why is that? Um, hold on. Get rid of the X. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Then we can just Alt D and rotate it 90 degrees. There we go, so now we got all of, actually we gotta do it down here too. So, wait, where's that at? We gotta do it over here. So, Alt D, and then rotate 90, and I'm in top view right now. So now we have every single one, yep, there we got it. Perfect. Let's start doing the inside now. So this little circle right here. And this is pretty easy. All we have to do is press Shift A and add in a circle. Rotate X 90. Scale it down so it fits right there. Um, scale it right, right there. And then bring it out to the, to the edge. And you can go just a tiny bit inside because we'll be extruding it out. Y. F like that. Actually, let's go in just a little bit. Perfect. And the normals are wrong, so uh, go into edit mode and then press Control N with everything selected. There we go. And you can do smooth shading on that with an edge split modifier. That's fine. Perfect. Now, press Shift A, add in a. Do we want a plane? Yes, we want to plane. Rotate that 90 degrees on, wait, 90 on the X, and then bring it out so it's lined up with that. There we go. Scale that down, and scale it down right about there. Yeah, and go into edit mode, control R, place a loop cut there, and delete this half. 
There we go. Then you can add another mirror modifier. Perfect. So now all we have to do is do this on one side and it will work on the other. Bring that up just a little bit. And uh, do we want clipping? No, not yet. You know what? Let's delete this vertice and just work with this one so it will be easier. So place it right there. Extrude. Boom. Extrude. And just work your way around the heart right there. This should be pretty easy. Just follow the black line right about there. Boom. Just like that. And while we're doing this, I can have some. I can tell you guys about something that I got. Uh, I have a friend who has a 3D printer, and he actually let me use his 3D printer to create the companion cube. And so I have a real life model now. So that's pretty cool. Um, actually, when you get to the end, uh, select both of those, then hit con uh, Alt M and go center, and then place it right there. And you can turn clipping on, so that's just like that. Boom. Then select everything and press F, so it creates a face. Look at that. And we want it just right next to right there, just like that and you can join these two objects so right click on this one right click on this one and click control J actually don't do that yet <laughs> you have to apply the mirror modifier then you can do that control J there we go now we're gonna be doing the mirror modifier for all these sides again so the cursor is already in the center so press control alt C through origin to 3d cursor then add in a mirror modifier again um, wait, control A, rotation. Uh, wait, why is that not? Oh, why? Why is that not working? Okay. That's weird. I guess we're going to have to do it manually. So, Alt D, rotate that 90 degrees, just like that. And one more time, Alt D, rotate it 90 degrees, just like that. And then we're gonna have to rotate this one so it's like that. Perfect! Look at that! We have our companion cube. Is there anything else? Yes, there is. We have to do these little indents. You see these little uh, indents right there? That's super easy. All we have to do is select the main cube, Control R, loop cut there, Control R. Uh, can I do another loop cut? There we go. <laughs> right there line it up and then same thing for the top you can actually select this loop and press GG and it'll move it along the edge then control R loop cut right there perfect so now we have loop cuts all the way around and up top and everything so go into face select mode select uh, this one and select this one did I select everything and we gotta do it Actually, yeah, we have to do it for this side too. So control R, place a loop cut there. Control R, place a loop cut there. And is that it? I think so. All right, select everything again. So go into wireframe, Alt, right click, and Alt, right click that. Then same thing over here, Alt, right click this. And boom, there we have it. That lo that's looking cool actually. I like it. Okay, extrude and scale it in. Look at that. Um, scale it. Wait, wait a second. Hold on. Do we? It's having an edge right there. Wait, what is this? Um. Uh, it's fine actually. That doesn't really matter too much. Yeah, it's, it's okay. We got it. That's looking cool. Now, the materials. This is pretty easy. All we're going to do is a diffuse and glossy for like all of it. So change this to cycles and click new. Mix shader. Uh, right there. Mix shader, mix shader. Boom. And diffuse and glossy. Just like that. And you can go into the front view so you can see like what you want. So what, am I have, what do I have selected? I have this. 
And I want that. Will that do it for everything else? I think so. Because we, yep, because we alt D it instead of shift D. Alt D links it, so whatever changes you make, like if we ex move this out, it will do the same thing for all of them. Like that. Okay. Go into a wireframe and see this is sort of a grayish, not fully white, but sort of a gray. So we can do that by just bringing that down just a tad. And then this, bring it to like 0.1. And yeah, that's fine. Now let's do the heart. So we can do the same material and we'll just change the color. So click that material. We'll name this one pink and change the color. Wait, oh, we forgot to do the thing. Hold on, hold on. Change this one to white. White, there we go. Then click this one and click the two. Now we can change this to pink and it won't change that one. All right, we can go like this sort of color. We don't want it super saturated because as you can see right here, it's not like fully saturated. It's sort of like a less pink, sort of like this, maybe just a tad darker. How does that look in the preview? Yeah, I, that's good, that's good. So go into edit mode, select this. Wait, can I? Let me select, there we go. Control L, and that will select the whole thing. Then click on the pink one, assign. And you can also change the color to the same one, the viewport color I mean. Wait a second, why didn't that work? Assign. Um. Why is, oh, because it's not showing, we have to move it. There we go. <laughs> I was wondering why, I was like, what? Okay, there we go, now all of them are pink. Oh, I love all D, it makes life so much easier. Next, go into this mode uh, on the main cube, and we're gonna have to select the inside. And this is pretty easy, all we have to do is the same thing that we did, just selecting like that, go into the other view, and boom, boom. And now we have everything. Uh, actually, we have to change this to, what color is this? Hold on. It is a gray color. So we can use nodes on this, mix shader, and we'll do the gray one. Diffuse and glossy. So change this to a grayish color. Bring this down to 0.1. Is that close? Um, maybe just a tad lighter, just a little bit. Um, try to get it as close as possible. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then we'll do plus, and then grab the pink one, and click assign. There we go, so now we got that pink strip in the middle. And also you can do the viewport color to be the same. So come down to the settings, viewport, boom. There we go. So select this one, and this is just the white material. So click white, and uh, and also we gotta do it for this one. White, there we go, look at that. We have our companion cube, doesn't that look so cool? And just a little bit of modeling and a little bit of materials, and that's it. Oh, that's cool. All right, we can, let's set up a scene now. So press Shift A, add in a plane, scale that up, Go into uh, front view and bring this down to about there so it's just resting on top. And then do, 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 um, grab the whole thing and rotate it. Maybe just a. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Don't rotate the plane. Hold on, hold on. Deselect the plane, then select that. Deselect that and rotate it just a little bit so it's kind of like just like that. Now we're gonna shift D this a couple of times. So shift D, move it here, rotate it maybe. And then shift D, move it over here, rotate it. Then we're gonna set up the camera right about here. And also, oh, that looks weird. Get rid of the background image, we don't need it anymore. So just click that little X and G, move this back. There we go. Um, move it along the Z, like that. Perfect. That's looking cool. And also, you know what we could do? Is give this some bevel. Um, where is the bevel at? Right there. Give it some bevel, and I think we have to get rid of the edge split. Bring this. Um, actually, turn off 
smooth shady. Do we want that? Bring this down just a little bit. Give it some segments. Yeah, I think that looks better. And you can do the same for this guy. So click bevel, bring it down right about there. Give it some segments. And does, does that do it for this too? No. We gotta do that for that. Boom, bring it down. Actually, what, what we could do to save some time, uh, select this, hold on, zoom in on that, and select this one, and then select this one last, control L and modifiers, and then that will give it some bevel just like that. Cool, cool. And we don't really have to give these ones any bevel because you're not going to see it, because I'm going to blur the scene just a little bit. That's looking good. Alright, now for the lighting. Grab this lamp, change it to a sun lamp, rotate it right about there, place it behind, um, doo -doo -doo, right here, like that, that's looking good. Use nodes, give it a strength of like, let's say three, then give it a yellowish color, just a little bit of yellow, not much. Multiple important sample, and now we're ready to render. So come down to the sampling and click this. Let's give it a render of 100, just to do a small render real quick. And, oh, one more thing. We have to do the blur. <laughs> so go into, uh, click your camera, go into the camera settings, change the focus. Hold on, let's select the heart. What, what name is this? Can I select this, please? All right, it's just circle, all right? So click here and go circle, the first circle right there, choose f-stop and change it to like 3, I think that will be good, and let's hold on, you know what, get rid of this, change the distance up, can I, why can't I see this, it's not working, high quality, alright, you're gonna, I guess we're gonna have to do the circle, that's fine. Once you've done that, uh, you can render it, but I want this cube to be a little bit this way. How does that look? Um, let's see. Wait, Z. Z, there we go. That, uh, rotate that a little bit so you can see this side of it. There we go. And maybe this one, we can just move a little bit. Oh, get rid of that. Move it a little bit back. Yeah, rotate that. Perfect. Now let's render it out and see how it looks. And also the world, change this to like a black. All right, click render and we'll see how that's looking. Ooh, that is not looking too good at all. <laughs> we need to change a few things. Firstly, the strength of this is too much. So change this back to one. And the motion blur, or the the blur needs to be less. Let's change this, this to one. and Let's see how this looks. Um, hold on. Maybe if we change this to a point lamp and change it to like 1000. Would that work better? Maybe. How does that look? Yeah. That's looking cool. Let's change this to 1500. No. <laughs> 1000. Um, maybe if we bring it back a little bit, shift D, move it there, shift D, move it here, and change these ones to like 200, 200, and let's check that. How does that look? It's looking better. It is looking better. Yeah, I think I like that much better. And scale this plane up a little bit so it goes out of sight. And you know what we could do? Is there's this trick that I use a lot where I grab the edges and extrude these up, then go into a subdivision um, and change this to like six. And then also I would go control R wait control R and bring it back so now we got this like smooth transition going up I think I like that that's pretty cool so let's do another render and we'll see how that looks
All right, guys, there you have it. There's our scene, our companion cube scene. That's looking pretty good. It could use a little bit more sampling because up here there's a little bit of noise. And yeah, all you have to do is just turn this up to like maybe 500 or something. But I'm going to leave that up to you. And you could do a little bit of compositing maybe. But that's going to be it. So thank you for watching. If you learned something new, tell me in the comments below. And yeah, link me some pictures if you made something cool. And I'll see you guys later. Alright, thanks for watching. Goodbye.